Alola, and welcome to uh, Pokemon Moon. This is uh, episode 65, actually. We are <laughs> quite a ways into the series now. At least uh, in the aspect of, you know, the difference between this and Pokemon Fire Red, anyway. We are way further ahead. <laughs> we are. Well, I should say that we were further ahead in Fire Red. So we're behind in this game? Something along those lines. <laughs> whatever you want to count. Whatever you want to consider it. So. All set changes were eliminated. Not that that mattered any, but okay. So, here's my thoughts. I want to go into this prepared, you know? Nice, pretty well leveled up, things like that. And as I was considering that, I realized I had a small issue with uh, Bulldor and Jolteon being this low level as they are. Um, namely, the fact that, being that they're this low level, um, they're not really in any condition to, uh, you know, fight or anything. Wait, I saw it. Psyguard! Um, so, we're going to, uh, have to figure out what to do about that. It looks like this just took us back, so I think we have to go to the north. There is the cat doing her thing. I don't know why the cat does that. She has anxieties or something. <laughs> like severe anxieties of some kind. I have no idea. Yay, don't think we're level 40. So we're, we are getting our Pokemon pretty well leveled back up here to about the level of this area. And I think I want to get them to about level 43 or so. Ooh, that's a trial gate. We're aiming for the top, so be prepared for us to go all out. I see a trial gate ahead. Once you pass through those, that uh, gate, Ace Trainer Hiroshi. A very Japanese name. <laughs> Once you pass through that gate though, oh my goodness. It is like, that's it. You're in the freaking trial. So I'm curious, because, I mean, they haven't really made it, you know, they didn't really show me that there was a trial coming up. There was Mina, but she was like, yeah, I don't know what to do for my trial. So, like, I don't know if I'm gonna have a trial up here, or... Let's see if, uh, Jolteon with Electrium Z can, uh, stand up to Lapras here. <laughs> it is quite a bit higher level, but <coughs> we'll see what happens. Time for Gigavolt Havoc, which I don't think I've ever actually used. Pretty sure this is the first time I've, I have actually used Gigavolt Havoc myself. So, there's that. Ow. That looked painful. No, I might have used Gigavolt Havoc once before. Because, like, I think I may have used it... Um, I remember making mention of Gigavolt Havoc <coughs> and like Ash using it on the show. So, you guys are the tops. I felt the strength in your heart. If I hadn't used that Gigavolt Havoc though, it would not have been good. Also, holy crap, my throat has suddenly dried out real bad. 
Like, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I feel like I'm like raspy. <laughs> I'm sitting here feeling like I'm talking real raspy. It's not comfortable. I mean, there's not much I can do about that right now, but maybe in between episodes, the way you guys trust each other, I want to see it all. All right. <clears throat> we'll see. Veteran Heather. All right. Cats. All right. Cats. Can't live with them, but can't live without them. <laughs> Let me tell you. Sometimes I really wonder about owning cats. It's like, you know, it would just be so much quieter around here. <laughs> with cat without cats. Oh, that hurts. Help. As soon as I saw that retaliate, I was like, okay, this is going to hurt real bad. I do, I thought I was doing pretty good on levels. Nope. Not, not at all. So I was looking up um, Z crystals, and apparently there is a Eevee uh, crystal. Which is interesting. Hydro pump. I don't really want hydro pump though. <coughs> All my stuff seems to be special. This is 110. It would be more powerful. But. Hmm. I will use the undisarming voice. I'm a little lenient about doing that. But Sparkling Aria does deal multiple uh, damage, so I think I'll be alright. Last Resort, nope. But apparently there's an Eevee uh, Z Crystal. And like, it does something to Last Resort to make it like more powerful. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah, Moonblast, see how strong that is. I apparently never fought this thing before, which is understandable because I didn't remember what it was. I was like, I don't know what that is. But the apparently the Eevee Z Crystal is like, it powers up Last Resort, except all this is like a stat changer. <laughs> it like boosts your stats and that's like all it does. I'm like, why? Lucky. Um, I really don't know who would be best to use for Klefki. I keep forgetting to equip, um, the Fairy Z Crystal since I just got it. So, I don't think I equipped it. I don't really know what that did. It, like, sealed... <laughs> Let's see, what does this do? Break deck blitz. Alright. Actually, yeah, might as well. Do break neck blitz. Magic room. Isn't that the one that reverses held items are lost? Or lose their abilities or whatever? I don't know. I thought it reversed, um, like your speeds. No, I think that's trick room that reverses your speeds. It like makes you makes high speed slow and low speed fast. That was not very effective either. Oh dear. I have nothing I can use here. So we'll just training cast because it's my most powerful. It allows me to heal from it. So Moonblast is a little bit more powerful. We'll do that. Moonblast should be good. Should take it out. Yes. Indeed. Most of your team gained experience. Nicely done. I dig it. Pokemon and trainers should trust each other. Alright. So I did get 
Let's see the revive again on poor Ember. Poor Ember just cannot survive, it seems like. At all. Well, I could, could definitely use that. Um, so I did get Ferium Z. Resinium Z, Ferium Z. Let's use this on Ninfi, because I want to see Ninfi's Z move. Plus, it'll be more powerful either way. Um, then let's sort these. Um, so we do have some really cool moves now. I do have Rockium Z, but I haven't actually used it. Also, I got some other stuff from uh, Pokey Pelago. It likes to give me different treasures and stuff, so... I still gotta face off against this guy. The altar is just a little farther, so I can let you, can't let you pass easily. Show me everything you've got. I really hope Lily shows up sometime after this fight and before anything serious happens because I really need to heal. She showed up like once on this pass and I'm like, I really need healing now. Please let Lily appear. Been a shock. Poison move versus fairy. And I got switched out. Yay. Well, not a bad choice to switch me out, I mean. At the same time, it's not the greatest choice. So. I don't know. Maybe it was useful to him, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Probably wasn't, considering that his Pokemon got annihilated and then he never actually did any damage. <coughs> All it really did was benefit me, to be honest. Golem! Oh yeah, they're part Steel-type now, I forgot about that. Sparkling Aria! So I actually would have been fine keeping Market out. That's alright. I'll do that. I forget that they're like magnets, so they're like part steel type now. That's so confusing. The freaking Geodude and Graveler and Golem are like magnetic now. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Well, I forget. I think Fairy is weak to Ghost. I think. I think really the only option I have here is Rake or Jolteon, but Jolteon's probably too weak. So we'll keep Rake out and just use another Sparkling Aria. Shadow Ball! Oh my god, I've been watching Pokemon Sun and Moon, the anime, and freaking Team Rocket with their Mimikyu is... Beyond hilarious. It really is. Uh, oh yeah, I forget Rake is also technically part fairy type. But it wasn't super effective or anything. It was just moderate damage. Kingar's cursed body. Sparkling Aria was disabled. Ooh. In before he pulls out a Pokemon I need Rake for. Nope. Uh, well, this is an ice type. Really, Ember would do the best here, but at the same time, I think it's also a water type. So Ember may not do the best here, actually. I guess I'll give it an Inferno Overdrive at this point and see what happens. Maybe I'll do super effective damage. And use Protect. Yay! That is lame. That is really lame. Okay, so I think we just figured out why Protect could actually be a good move. If somehow you know that a Z-move is coming, you can use... Oh. The opposing Clacer couldn't fully protect themselves. Well then, 
How's that for an answer? Even Z power busts through protect. It becomes weaker by quite a lot. But there you go. Even Z power, even freaking protect can't block Z power. Whoa, you've got a lot. I have no choice but to admit defeat. Heck yeah. All right. So what is this? Is this going to be a trial? Huh. Huh. Sorry, I'm not very good at running. Phew. It looks like we're nearly to the altar now, aren't we, Serene? Let me take care of Solanda for you. Yay. When your Pokemon are full of energy, then the trainer can go anywhere in the world. Doesn't it seem that way? Indeed, it does. Is there a trial in the Vast Pony Canyon? Zoom, isn't the whole place trial enough? That is a good question indeed. And we'll answer that in the next episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying. And I'll see you all next time. Alola!